Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. Now we're good. Cool. We're going. Camera's probably going to die very soon because we just recorded for like half an hour and then camera dies in the middle of it. So, but no, no. All right, so we've been talking about the Win, Wim Hof. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Wim Hof method. I mean, we, yeah. Breathing techniques? Really conscious breathing in general, yeah. And how to... But like Wim Hof is kind of like popularized with it. Okay. And, and rightly so because he set like 20 world records to prove that like he really is like... A lot of the techniques are ancient, you know, thousands of years old. Pranayama is like, you know, another word for it, like, you know, uh, so he's fire using breathing, these pranayama. Ancient techniques to, to master things like, I mean, he climbed Mount Everest with yeah, no yeah, shirt yeah, on, yeah. is that right? No shorts, yeah. No shorts? Did like an hour and 40 minutes, like ice exposure, which they said it's. So con- that's like, that's clear proof. Yeah. Yeah, he's clear a master of it. Proof. So, like, if he calls it the Wim Hof method, like, it's okay because he's clearly like a master of it, and he's trying to get it to his. Those own are people. the tangible but results. Like you have, yeah, you have people like you know, in comments, things like that, be like, you know, this isn't, the, you know, he stole this. This is, you know, this is not his. You know, he didn't make this up, which is kind of uh-huh. like true in a way. But like for one, he's mastered it to the point where like he's setting world records, like m- multiple world records, to prove his like mastery of it, and then he's just using it, you know. To get it to as many people as possible, so it's called the Wim Hof method. But really, well, like what I what, what I was saying before the uh, the thing cut off was like once you start doing it, like you follow the simple structure, which is basically like you know forty deep inhales, and then you're gonna exhale, and you're gonna hold your breath with like no air inside your lungs, and hold it as long as you can, and then once you gotta breathe in, you breathe in, and then you hold your you know your breath for like five seconds, you know, in mm-hmm. in, in kind of like you know, flex your whole, like, body and your chest and and your neck and you try to, like, you know, force that oxygen, like, into your brain and you get a response. But, like, over time, you start to realize, like, you just feel your way through, like, you know, you've done 32 breaths instead of going all the way to 40 breaths or whatever. You might just, like, stop there and, like, you just kind of start to feel it out to where, like, you're getting that, whatever that response is that you feel where you're like, oh, shit, like, you feel adrenaline spike or your uh-huh. body starts shaking for a second or, like, if you're listening to music. Do you get more stuff. comfortable with that? With oh, that, yeah. that feeling? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not some shit. Like, I used to do it in my car sometimes, and I was like, I was, af- I think, I mean, you could probably, I mean, I'm not, don't do it in your car, especially if you're beginning, but, I mean, I don't know, man. It kind of puts you into your like primal. Do it while driving, <laughs> you know. Like, and that's the thing is, you get, one you get of, in an accident, and you're just like, yeah, don't do it because you could pass out, or you feel like you're about to pass out. Uh-huh. And I would do that sometimes, and I was like, like, and you feel like, damn, I'm like holding the wheel all tight, all of a sudden. So, so, but you realize, like, you're actually like, you, know, you come back to it pretty. Quick. Okay, so the reason I'm like so infatuated with this, right, is that we are talking about like kind of like the shift in the everyday, how how your your emotions and your your thoughts and. Uh, your neuroticism, your receptivity to negative emotions or positive emotions, whatever it may be. Patience. They, yeah. they fluctuate like a, a considerable amount, at least for me personally. And I want to gain some clarity to be able to have a little bit more control of my mind so it's a little less sporadic. And I've never had, I've never experienced reality from the sense that like, with with like total mastery or total control or anything like that or, or more control but I, I'm humble enough to admit, or at least I'm trying to be humble enough to admit that like I I really think my thoughts are more sporadic than they should be. And I think I need I think this is something that I should seek out and make a conscious effort to like improve upon is to gain better clarity and better control over my emotions, thoughts, whatever it may be, because I just, I just am, I, it's almost like intuitive. Like, I, I feel like this is something that needs to, like, improve in my life. I, I really do. Because, I mean, like you were saying earlier, this helps with depression. This helps with, like. Yeah, any any psychosis, period. Because, you know, it, it all of that is going to relate to the breathing, period. Like, like almost a, a 100% reflection correlation between the state of your breathing and what's going on in your, your mind. Like, uh-huh. It's like a, a one-to-one thing, you know, like. You know, if you're about to have a panic attack and you're hyperventilating, hyperventilating, and your your thoughts are going crazy, then like, you know, your breathing showing that. If you're happy and you're chill and you're just got done running and you're watching a TV show and you took a shower and 
you're just chilling, you know, taking these deep breaths and mm-hmm. you feel that parasympathetic, you know, like that where you catch your breath and you're like, you know, your heart rate's slow, your thoughts are slow. It's like a one to one one thing. So it's like, you know, if you want to change your thoughts, you can try to think your way out of it and you you can you can change your thoughts for sure. Like I've gotten better at that. Not even changing your thoughts, but like really it's changing your beliefs over time, which is uh-huh. why like a positive affirmation that you say every single day or three times a day, like mm-hmm. really over time starts to become like your default, like instead of like, oh, I'm stupid or I'm ugly or I'm poor or my life sucks. Your, or, your inner hate, dialogue's you know, going to be a little bit to more like, positive. I love this and thank you God for the trees and thank you God for the air and thank you God for my health and you know, thank you you know for this and my life's amazing and wow like how beautiful the sunset is and how amazing it is that i'm on earth in 2018 and that you know you know this mm-hmm. is all like a mystery and somehow i'm like lucky enough to have you know a a, a, de- you know, a decent iq or you know you could find a million things to be grateful for or a million things to be like oh there's you know kids starving in the uh-huh. world and i'm gonna die someday and my life doesn't mean anything and i'm not a billionaire and uh you know Nothing. My matters. wife's gonna cheat on me, or maybe she, you know, like maybe she is, or uh, this asshole cut me off today in traffic. What a piece of shit! Everyone in this world sucks, and like you could go either way about, but like you know, the the idea behind the breathing and the meditation and the mindfulness really is just like, yo, when you're like happy and you're in the flow state or whatever, you're not really thinking anything positive or negative. You're just like in it, you know. You just there's no thoughts. And that's like a better way to go instead of like trying to fight, oh. fight the, you know, like fight the negative critique in your brain over, you know, like with a positive thought and like play this game all the time. Eventually you're going to get tired and it's going to be. You're, you're above, you're be- above and go, beyond yeah, go back, good and go evil. Go the other way to just be like, I don't like, I don't want to think positive or negative. I just want to like, I just want to watch. I just want to listen. For me, it's like a listening thing. It's like being oh. quiet enough to like. To just like sit there and realize like holy shit like I'm not thinking right now for like three could be like three seconds to have the awareness you know? for that yeah three yeah. seconds go by where you don't think anything and you're just like holy shit. you know like right and there and that feels like forever <laughs> you know what I'm saying? yeah and you want that you want that feeling as much as you can in your life that feeling is like forever that's, that's forever it, it's like eternity like you're experiencing yeah. eternity almost like a yeah like a temporary forever man like that's like the the moment the magic and it, honestly it's the most important thing man because it's like you don't want to be like you know the day you graduate or the day you mm-hmm. get married or the day your kids born or the day you die or the day some you know like if you're so much in your head thinking and analyzing it and like you know determining what it means instantly like as it's happening you're like missing out the moment you know good uh-huh. or bad like you know you want to just be you know it's like kobe taking the, the game winner man like you can't be thinking about whether the shot's gonna go in or not you uh-huh. gotta just be like 100 percent cool with like i want to take the shot if i miss it i miss it i make it i make it but like uh-huh. i'm not gonna like like I've, I've shot this shot a million times in, in practice and when i was a kid growing up like the best chance for me to make this shot is to just like let my body shoot the ball and not think about it and not like I'm going to shoot a little under just, you know, you know, or I'm going to, I'm going to bank, you know, I'm going to shoot a little overpower. I'm going to, you know, just like, nah, man, you, you put your whole life into shooting this shot. If you can just turn your brain off and let the body do it, you might still miss, but your best chance is like in that where like you're, you're, you know, you're in your animal instinct. For me, it's like the primal brain, you know, we're like, this is like you're a flow in, state, yeah. Like flow a very, state, like, or you're instinctual. You're like an animal, man. Like uh-huh. you know, like animals. You see cats. I lo- that's why I love cats, man. Because is there? An, I don't know if you know like the cognitive uh, or like like the cognitive science behind meditation or anything. I've never. I haven't done enough research in meditation. I'm telling I, you, up. I've done a fair amount, but not not nearly as much as I need to. But with that being said, like, do you? Is there any? Um, is it is part of the goal to kind of shut down the pre like the prefrontal cortex? Yeah, so that like I mean, so that it eradicates thought in itself, or that that would, that would be like I don't know the science too much either, but what you said like makes perfect sense to to what like to what you would be experiencing. Yeah, like that's, okay. that makes sense. You know, that's yeah, crazy. which is like to get out of the prefrontal cortex and into your you know your primal brain. Where Calm it's the like, ripples. You know your uh, say it again. Calm the ripples. The ripples. Yeah, of the mind. it's just like, and they and they've proven like from a, a, a calorie standpoint, like uh, you know how much like energy is burned off in the body just from thinking. You know, your brain uses up a big portion of like energy just thinking, uh-huh. not running or working out. Like thinking takes. Yeah, a I know. Lot. I know. Like uh, playing the game Sudoku 
If you play that yep. for an hour, I believe it is. It's you burn ninety calories. Right, just sitting there completely still, like, and they're not they're not taking into consideration the uh, the like right, moving right, of the right, thumbs right, and whatnot, right, or writing down whatever you're playing it on. But like they're they're talking just cognitively, like yeah. you're burning ninety calories. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's crazy, man. So like it's you like, only have so many thoughts in a day. Yeah, and the less you only have so the much less willpower. the better, honestly, in my opinion. Like wow. you know, because you, and and it's like the quality of it too, man. Like when it's t- when you when you like, you know, when you can really tap into like when you have the ability to really quiet yourself and focus deeply, you know, mm-hmm. for an hour or two hours. Like the level of thinking that you're at is like way deeper than you could spend eight hours on, you know, your your whatever bullshit, you know, thinking that you're used to. But like you really train yourself to be able to like and you have to be able to relax to do that. It's like the lion is the perfect example, the lion, because the lion sits around 23 hours a day, doesn't do shit, just sits there, you know, the lion. But when and he then strikes, when the, it's like all of a sudden sits there, not worried, like, oh, we got to go hunt. We got to go find something. We got to. Just chilling, and then all of a sudden, it's just like the stillness, the yin. Oh shit! Now it's like some prey, you know, or some yeah, prey comes in in territory, and all of a sudden, the shit wakes up, and uh, you know, the kill happens. And I I'm, turn in a beast mode. Yeah, exactly. For two minutes, you know, for two minutes, you uh-huh. get the kill, and it's back to chilling. Like, uh-huh. you know, it's like you you can't have that deep like spurt. High energy spurt, like you can't be going. Like it's like priming hours. your brain. You priming. can't be going that that. You can't go that fast all the time. Like you have to be slow to be able to you know to really go fast. And I feel like a lot of like life, my experience now, it takes like a lot of like uh, ebb and flow. Yeah, it takes faith to be able to like. That's not how our society is 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 set up. Not at it's all. It's set up like you go ten hours a day at work, a ten hour shift. I fucking hate working a ten hour shift. There's, There's people no who act like that's normal, that man. Yeah, I like I, that shit ruins like that, that, not only like I do the ten hours, then it's like immediately it's just like everything else that I wanted to do kind of goes out the window. Uh-huh. You know, it's like I'm just gonna chill until I gotta be at work the next time, and you don't really make any progress in your life doing that because, you know, you're just like you know. You're maintaining in a way where it's a lot, you know, it takes faith to be able to be like, okay, I think I need to do all this shit or it feels like I got a lot of shit I got to do, but you know, I'm just going to like, I don't, I don't feel like doing it right now. So I'm just got, I'm, I'm just going to trust my, like my body, you know, my evolution biology and just be like, I'm going to rest right now. And then, you know, it's weird. It's like when you start to like trust that, that unconscious, then you, you have like, you know. You you were thinking it had to be this way that you were gonna get something done, but you gave it up and you're like fuck okay like I accept like defeat on that like I can't do it right now I'm too tired I don't want to get up I don't want to go right now I'm just lazy or whatever whatever meaning you give to it, but it's like by relaxing and like having faith in that other 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 energy like the yin, sometimes you get an idea that's like wait a minute and it solves like the twenty fucking things you had to do you figure out a way that you could do it in like one way, with like you know. 10 minutes of effort or 20 minutes of effort or some shit mm-hmm. but it was not even an idea you would have considered you know had you not been like willing to to put like the conventional you know you could think about this a million different ways uh, of your life you know it's like uh i don't know man like fitness school whatever like you know i, I don't know man like uh i'm trying to think of, of an example like i just had one but uh shit man I, you know what I'm trying to say where it's like you, you have that burst for, for, for and, and the thing is you never know like in your day or in your week or whatever when you're gonna have to have that burst you know like unexpected shit happens and you gotta deal with it and it's mm-hmm. critical moments you know like life comes down to execution in a lot of ways like fair or not like you know people who win gold medals whatever people who are billionaires people who win like winners champions we don't always know what goes into the process and sometimes the ethics and boundaries of what's like fair and what's right you know most people don't give a like you know most people don't really give a shit they care about who won who won who won the game like Mm -hmm. yeah but it was bullshit the ref made up at the end of the day man 10 years from now we only remember the winner like so life comes down to execution in in certain moments and a lot of times it's like you could do 95 percent of the shit right and like fuck it up on the last shot of the game or whatever it uh-huh. is, and it's like all that work was kind of for nothing in a way. So it, it seems like a little bit of what you're saying is like the the it you want to make sure you execution, have execution, and yeah. it's about optimizing your state. Like this is a big 
this is a big role that meditation plays to optimize your state. Yeah. Uh, I guess you want to like, you want to make sure that you have the resources, energy wise, mentally, everything that in those moments that you can't plan for, or predict that when you, you like, need to execute, you're gonna that you like if you don't execute everything else that you've been working on gets fucked up. Uh-huh. You got to know that like, you know, in that moment that you're like, you're straight. You're gonna hand you like you're gonna you're gonna rise to the occasion and you're gonna like execute and win, you know, and like. If you're going 100% all the time. So you time, need to prime yourself. You need to optimize your state. Yeah, I think, I think it's everything, man. I would rather, like, you know, it's like being able to recognize that, like, it's really being able to recognize what really, like, what really needs to get done, what's really, like, critical, uh-huh. what, what really the goal specifically is, and, like, what can I afford to do and what can I afford not to do because, like... You know, it's funny because uh, there's, there's this book I've read by Tim Ferriss, if you know who that is. He's four-hour work week. No, no, but I, that's funny. I, that's a that's a book I like play to read. Uh, yeah. Actually, I bought that book, started to read it, brought it to the library one day, lost it. Damn. Only book I've ever lost. But anyway, um, yes, I need to buy that book again. But he's anyway, got a lot of good books like that. Like so all, all the concepts is like like uh, Tools of Titans is the book. It, yeah, then, that's uh, a better one. That's Tribe the, of Mentors as well. So I like, haven't I haven't read the Mentors one, but uh, the uh, Tools of Titans is the one where he like has like 60, 70 high performing like people that Oh, it's like, like 200 or something crazy yeah, like that. Ask them like their their go-to habits, how much they sleep. Dude, like and that's pretty much exactly what Tribe of Mentors is. Like yeah. you you're not missing a ton, honestly. I it, they're, they're pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I mean it's still fast. They're structured different, but yes, like the the concept is like interviews and Dude, like both of those books, I mean, he's 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 interviewing like world class achievers. Like, I would say, I don't want to say ninety percent, but I'm like almost every single person you read mentions something about meditation, like or some form of mindfulness. And like, yeah. and I I, I really do think this is something this is something I, my life is missing. Right, like, and, and and I'm coming to this conclusion more and more. And I've been living with the paradigm and. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous that I even like thought this, but this is like literally what I've like kind of thought was going to happen in my life or how things were going to play out or whatever, uh, that I'm going to meet, I'm going to go about life, just jolly old me, just going throughout this journey. And then one day I encounter this random like hippie monk and then he just takes me under his wing because me, I'm such a cool fucking guy yeah. and he's like he's like yo that's funny you say that cuz I was going to say at the end of the story that's you but uh, probably is man I'm <laughs> but, like a weird dude in a lot of ways <laughs> I do a lot of weird shit and I do a lot of weird shit hey you got to try abstract that's okay yeah, but I mean, shit, it, man it, I mean you got you got to try I could the go unknown. on a list bro I'll, I'll, when we're done I'll, I'll give you a yeah, list yeah hell yeah let's You're do it be like what the fuck? <laughs> some of it is going to be like weird to you but i i just been weird. living with this reality that like I'm going to go about life I'm going to meet some random person that teaches me all about meditation and then they just like take me under their wing and i'm like you know what? that's fucking stupid i need to take a more independent approach and just like because i mean man i've been like looking into meditation for probably my goodness it's been three years yeah also, three years and i've like barely done any i got into it for like a month and yeah. like wasn't very effective i don't i, I still didn't addicted think to my effective. phone like i would do it for five minutes at a time like it's I think I think I need to implement the discipline to carry th- like carry and follow through with this on some form of a scheduled basis and really fucking stick to it because I I've lacked the discipline in the past so carrying into the future I need to do better and yeah this is, this is like extra interesting to me now because I kind of had this uh, reality check if you will like probably two fucking weeks ago I was like damn I'm I tripping. really yeah. yeah dude like I need to I think this would help and it I, also. This goes with uh, this is worth mentioning, but I mean the main thing I strive for on this podcast is authenticity and to keep it fucking real as I fucking can. Uh, so with that being said, like I I would be lying if I didn't if I said I didn't experience depression from time to time if I didn't get down from time to time. Yeah. And if this can help with that, then and if I can eradicate something that's negatively impacting my life from time to time, then that's the, I mean that's the why thing. not give it a go and why not take it fucking seriously why not just do it like full head on so I, and I was thinking I need to I think I need to not just minimize the amount of social media use but literally just cut out social media for a little bit not no big deal cut it out for a little bit focus on meditation focus on myself do me and then see what happens 
yeah, I think it's a good plan. Before I, you know, before I go into anything, I don't want to be the guy who's like the meditation guru. That's not me. Like, no, I'm not like, taking you that. I way know. At I'm all. just saying, like, I'm a rap. You know, I'm not a rapper. You know, we should. I don't know if you are. You gonna put the original intro on there or something? Uh, like the the first thirty like, minutes oh, that we did. We got Corey. Or, yeah. No, no, none no. of that's none of that's on there. You know, I. I that's I all. Mean, I might just actually. go ahead and plug my uh, my music just because you know it came out today, but uh. You know, I, I've got like what twenty one songs on iTunes. It's a cool day for me. Uh, my album Rod Son. I'm Corey Robert Can. I got you know, music is something I do. You know, I'm not a meditation guru, so I'm not you know gonna act like I am either, or that I don't you know experience anxiety and stress. But I will say, you're one of the few people I know that has not only tried meditation but stuck with it. You're one of the few people. Yeah, I know. but I mean, up until like a month ago, man, I really was like, and eh, like medit. I, I've probably quote. You know, you could quote me like meditation is bullshit. Like the mm -hmm. Wim Hof method or or breathing is way more effective. Uh -huh. I don't feel the same way anymore because that month was a lot of just straight up like I'm just gonna lay on my bed and I'm just not gonna move and set a timer for 20 minutes or 90 minutes and just sit there and like think. Where it's like the internal part of me before that was like we got to get up, we got to go, we gotta we gotta do the next thing. We gotta mm. do this homework assignment. I gotta do this. You know, I gotta do this. I gotta do all the. You know, and it's just the like college conditions you that to like to think that way. Like you know, where Dude, I'm literally like, I've been thinking about a test I have, and it's like ten days from now. And it's probably I've been thinking about your, it since like, like two days ago. That shit is like uh, robbing. Yeah, man. it's robbing you of your like overall faculties and capacity yes. in this moment. You know what I'm saying? And it does that to me too. That's why I we were, I was talking about this with my roommate, but I'm that's the my biggest complaint about college. That's why like. I my biggest complaint is that I I stress out to make sure that I get good grades because I need to do well in these fucking tests. So I stress out to make sure that I do well and like plan ahead accordingly. Because if I don't, then I've I've reaped the negative consequences in the past, and it, I've learned from it. But but uh, so I need to like plan out. I I stress over and I plan out everything in advance. I'm like, okay, my next my next test is this time. I need to start studying now, like as soon as I can. And there's never any like separation between work and school, or at least I personally struggle with that. Like I feel like I even on the weekends I'm like, okay, like, like, am I just gonna do nothing today, or is that irresponsible? And like, right, that's the whole. What thing. I'm looking forward to in like the career element, it might even be more time, but I'm looking forward to the separation of. I do, I refuse to bring my work home with me. You know what I mean? When I leave the office or when I leave wherever I'm doing, whatever I'm doing, hopefully I'm happy doing it. And I refuse to bring that shit home back with me. I wanna I wanna keep that there and then I wanna keep my personal life and do me. Yeah. Yeah, bro, and it's, I think the brain has a hard time focusing on uh on more than one thing. At least I do. Like even just two things for me is like like really it's gotta be like one specific goal and everything is kinda like you know, there there could be multiple things I gotta do toward that goal, but like in my mind I have to ra remind myself that there's really like one specific goal goal mm -hmm. otherwise if there's two goals if, you know all of a sudden it's like two you know like i there's two paths that i can take and i end up not like you know i go this this way a little bit this way and it's like i never really like get to either of them it's like if there's one oh, goal, really? and everything is just like there's only one goal where it's like you want to set 20 goals like you know i want to be this rich i want to you know this what you know it's like like nah like be able to isolate it as one you know which it might be for you like what if you what if you just make make sure to like implement both of those goals like uh or make time for both of those goals to like accomplish for those so like maybe it's a lack of prioritizing or a lack of scheduling because I, I would argue different to be honest i feel like you could like at least for me right now like my my goal is to do all my internship to do to like keep doing these podcasts and keep moving like making progress with those and then to finish college and i always make time for all of those and in, enjoy my social life i'd say those are like my main intentions goals whatever you want to say like do you think it's like like do you think you can accomplish two goals if you just make time for both of them i i really can't man but like i just find a way to organize like all four of those goals uh -huh. that you just mentioned into like one encompassing idea to where my brain only has to focus on Ooh. like otherwise it's just like you i end up doing the shit at the wrong time where like I have to decide whether school is more important than fitness or whatever and it's just like it's all important do you think it's, do you think you have like a really you know. extreme personality where you're like you're very focused on one at a time? Uh, or? probably in in, a, in certain ways, yeah. Okay. Like I much rather like talking to one person like, than like a group setting. You know, like I like one on one conversations a Same. lot more than I. You know, like 
I don't think everyone's like that. But, you know, I like I like probably groups of five and smaller. To be honest, that's probably for me. It's like I like this. Like a one on one is my so so it might it might be like that for me. You know, but like you could still find a way to like you know what is like the reason that all four of those things are important. You know, like what is mm-hmm. the end end game or like the the end game or like the you know, when you get to the, the end game, like day to day, how is that like represented? You know, like end game, end goal with like because there's all not like once goals. you achieve the goal, then it's like if you stop working towards that, then you immediately, uh, you know, you fall back. You have to keep going, or you know, so it's like I feel like you know that that happens a lot. Is you 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 know, let's say you actually hit your goal, and then what's the next thing? You know, then you stop the practice altogether, and you fall back into 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 the old way, like. You know, mm-hmm. so so like so it's like what is what is like you know what's the day to day thing that I'm gonna keep the rest of my life of like why I'm doing this and if it mm-hmm. if it doesn't fit in that way then it's probably not like a real goal to me you know like I feel like the the Wim Hof shit the conscious breathing it's something I'll do till I'm dead straight up like till the day I die you know planning out my day every day like some kind of structure that I follow the day you know the night before uh-huh. that's something I'll do forever because it's just so like important it's so essential. like what i accomplish in a day that i plan out ahead of time versus that i don't uh-huh it's like night and day you know difference i mean sometimes you get lucky you don't make any plans and some crazy shit happens and that that happens a lot too but like you could you could you could i've definitely it. i've done both yeah me too I and agree. i lo- like that's the thing is like i'll i'll like i'll 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 fall on my plan like you know i'll follow it a week straight perfect and then um, i'll mess up one day and like the most amazing thing will happen and i'll yeah. be like see you know, <sighs> see, like, well, I trust my intuition and, uh, you know, look what God, you know, mate, whatever. It's yeah, just, man, it's hard. To, it's really hard to balance like the, to implement like spontaneity in your life and also like, structure. well, you can, I mean, you can, you could plan out uh-huh. like 18 hours of your day or 20 hours of your day and you could have a four hour block where there's no like, plan. Like no, there is like, no plan. Whatever you want to yeah, do in that whatever, Yeah, exactly. Like, and that's a good way to do it is to have a block of like, you know, four or five, three hours, whatever, uh-huh. where there's no, I like that too. But like and you gotta have like, some structure to it, and then and then kind of keep like a caliber of things that you could do. It's like it's like uh, okay, well, yeah. assume okay, like uh, I'm gonna like, go to the movie, me, I'm gonna go eat, I, I'm gonna uh, yeah, take yeah, a nap, yeah, or, exactly. Uh, but like go I don't read, have to decide, go you know, friends, go play soccer, yeah. like like all these uh, all these luxuries that you can implement to your day. Yeah, 100%. I like that. I like Instead that. Instead of deciding ahead of time because you might you know and you you don't like that's the thing is when you're really in tune with how you feel like you know you don't always know how you're gonna feel like two hours from now. Yes, I might feel yes. a lot different. You know, I don't, I don't know. Like, it's funny. Like, you know, you can you can set up a gym regimen where it's like, all right, every day from six to six thirty in the morning, I got to run. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like that's good. Like, if you stick to that, but like, but are you damn, gonna feel like doing that? Sometimes I'm like, yeah, but even if you don't feel like doing it, if you really are trying to get the outcome, then you just fucking have the discipline and yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, you just gotta do that. But like, so I'm like, damn, it's like I, in this month, I didn't really plan shit out, and now all of a sudden, it's like. Somehow I'm at the gym three three days in a row with no like plan for it, or you know I I end up doing things that were like there was so much resistance like to do you know to follow that discipline that schedule and think it's so awful, and then like somehow just by giving up on it I end up like my body's like hmm okay like he's not making us do this shit anymore so I guess we'll just do it because we actually want to do it you know yeah yeah and I end up you know I end up doing the shit anyways or like I'm I'm oh, uh-huh. I'm supposed to run at six in the morning but like. I you know happen to like go run at the track at nine p.m. The start just because I feel gotta like the running, hardest. you know. Uh huh. And you're like, who gives it? Like in the you know, if I, if you can manage your life in a way where you 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 know how to like improvise like that and show up at you know, it's like it doesn't really matter if I run at six or nine. Like it, it really doesn't. But it's like I didn't plan it out, and I end up being at the track with no like. There's no like resistance, or I got to do this. It's just like I went because I wanted to go. That's a, be- that's a much better like way to go about your life is to be like doing shit because you like to do it you know like you're process focused you know the the people who are the best in the world at anything they are fucking process people they're not like outcome focused you know you don't you don't spend like they, six, they enjoy the process you don't more you, than the outcome. like to become world class at something you don't you don't you know there's somebody out there like kobe bryant that likes spending six hours in the gym shooting a ball over and over again uh-huh. like you know, every day, like, you know, for a ridiculous amount of time. And that's, but like, you know, you got to find the thing in your life. Extremes exist. You know what I'm saying? But like, cool. he likes doing that, you know, uh-huh. like just people like that. In the, in the year that I was working on music, which was basically like the calendar year of, you know, 2018, 
Before that, I had never worked on music at all, never mm -hmm. made a song, never was, you know, in choir, never did any shit like that. Uh, but the beginning but like, was hard. And two, oh, yeah, it would take forever. It would take, like, six hours to be able to write, like, some shitty whatever verse. Uh -huh. But, like, I still was, like, even when it was shitty, I was, like, into it. Like, I didn't care about anything else. It was, like, every day was, like, eight, ten hours, like... Even when I wasn't working on it, I was thinking about like, and that's know. a beautiful thing, man. But like, it's not like that now. It's now meaning. it's like, whew, I don't want to talk about shit meaning. At all. Oh, interesting. Okay. Like, I, I, I drove myself kind of crazy with it, like to the uh -huh. point where it was like, whoa, I've like, done that. Like, I could sit down right now and make a song, and it's like an obsessive easy. relationship. Like, you're like all about it, super into it. You guys are super invested in yeah, each you other. Lo it loses its, and like, then yeah, if you it, it and then it's uh, it, it loses like the patience and the the flow of it all whenever. You, Whenever you go into it a million miles an hour, it's like okay, like that's not sustainable. And usually those uh, those those kind of relationships just but like the die best out. work you're gonna do is is the best work or the best performance. The best you is always gonna be like in a state where you're you're happy. You know, like mm -hmm. you're, you're happy, you're creative. You're so it's you're like what makes content, you happy on a sustainable level. Like you like can you can win the other way. Sustainable level. Yeah, I mean, you could win the other way. But do you like, want to? Let, do you even want to win the other way? I now? don't. That's what I realized a month and a half ago. Is uh -huh. like I would rather like be a like poor person that's happy, and like I would agree. Not yeah. like poor and maybe not as powerful and maybe not as like attractive to the opposite sex and all this shit. Like I, at some point, I was like, dude, I've been sacrificing for like a few years now, and like I didn't hit the you know I didn't hit the goals for whatever reason, or I hit some of them, but like damn, like, I could have just been partying and getting high and, like, you know, had, like, girlfriends that whole time and, like, mm -hmm. I could have been chilling this whole time and I would still be in, like, the same spot I'm kind of at. And it's just, like, damn, like, why did I, like, it took me that long and it's, like, I know a lot of people are playing that game in their life where they're, like, trying to get something so that they can get something else. You know, like, whether it's you want to have a job and all this shit and money and um, a nice crib because you want a hot wife or, you know, you... You want to I mean, we were talking about that the other day, dude. I was like, I was like, yeah, I wonder, like, I'm, I'm like, kind of taking my career more just for like the, the intangible idea of like, if I have a good career, then maybe I'll get a hotter wife, or like, not even hotter. It's just like maybe I'll just find love, like, like genuine the, real that love was with the somebody trick, I want. Bro. That was the trick for me, man. That that literally it was so the whole crazy. thing for me was that I realized that, like, since I was I don't know thirteen or whatever, like first you know couple crushes whatever like uh -huh. like that's all i really wanted was to like fall in love straight mm -hmm. you know but the recognition you're like if i get a better career then i'll ha i'll fall in love i realized like a month and a half ago be uh, because of rap and shit was just like wait a minute like I, I worked so hard at this but actually like if i succeed and i make a million dollars and i make this much money and i have this many fans and all this shit like that's actually gonna hurt my chances of like real genuine love. You uh -huh. know? And then it's going. It's like, how am I gonna? How want. am I gonna put all this sacrifice and work into like really the thing I want is just to fall in love for somebody who uh -huh. loves me for who Dude, I am. Dude, that's a crazy realization. And then I'm really just isolating myself from from uh -huh. really the true love because it's like, I mean, you could still fall in love at that point, and who knows? Dude, that's like, actually. If like, I'm a broke motherfucker and some dime like falls in love with me, then like. It's I have real. reason to believe that it's, it's real. real and it's dope that like I did it without all the other shit that everyone spends their time trying to get. Uh -huh. And I believe in myself enough to be able to do it based on like mastery of like the internal, the mind, the mindfulness, the breathing. Like if I can breathe like better than 99% of human beings on the planet, like, you know, that sounds weird, like breathe better, but like have like to where I could hold my breath for 10 minutes or like, uh, you know, be exposed to whatever, cold, hot, you know, be able to run a six minute, like health and ha health and happiness maximized, like as mm -hmm. much as possible. Like I have full faith in myself that like I can secure whatever, like some lady's going to, you know, some pretty lady's going to be there and I'm going to be like just dope enough, funny enough, present enough, uh, energized enough, healthy enough, like physically attractive enough. I was like, wondering like to like, like to get it without you, anything, yeah. to get it with. And she, who knows, man? You know, maybe it's like, you know, there's a lot of girls with college degrees and stuff these days. She, maybe she's got the money. Maybe I'm a stay-at-home dad and I get to be, a, you know, chill with my kids all day and uh, exercise and work out and uh, and support her and her, like, you know, endeavors of, you know, make sure she's happy and satisfied and, mm -hmm. and you know, all of it. Make sure everything's working right. And, uh, and like, 
I'm like, I just realized it. I'm just like, damn, like it takes a lot of faith. I'm like a, a very egotistical person in a lot of ways. I wanted to be like a, a, the, the best, you know, soccer player. All of my like identity as a youth was like, oh, like, you know, I'm straight A student. I, you know, I'm a Do you think you four year letterman, that? all this shit. That was like my identity was my, was based on when all that shit went out the window. You get to the real world, you realize like no one really gives a fuck what that I graduated summa cum laude. They don't really mm. give a fuck. You did? What I did? Yeah. No shit. Yeah, I had 31 on the ACT, uh, four year letterman in soccer. Like I, I did a lot of that shit. And since I was way younger than that, uh -huh. no criminal record. But it's just like the real world actually doesn't really give a fuck. And I realized like my whole identity was built on something that was like kind of bullshit in a lot of ways. There's elements to like me achieving that 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 are like who I am, you know, like uh, I like to work. You know, I like to I like to work on shit that I like. But, you know, like I realize like all that shit doesn't mean anything. So it, I mean, like, you know, I'm not saying it doesn't mean anything, but. It's not what you want. It's like, not what you value. My there's a difference between like your identity and your appearance and your character. And your character is like for me, character is a premium, man. I don't give a fuck how much money somebody has or like really what they look like or you know wh whether they agree with me on everything. But if like mm -hmm. I have a sense, like just a sense that they're like f genuine or they have heart, you know. Joey ta Joey Diaz talks about this. You know, if you got heart and balls, then it's like you, even if you're a dumb fuck like i, I still you know we're, we're gonna laugh together and we're gonna have fun yeah, it's like yeah i'm not you know i'm not trying to be better than you and you better than me like we're here together and in the end none of this shit you know who cares who won the 1973 mvp in the nba we don't give a fuck today but i mean i'm not saying it's not important but it was just like kind of like goes when back it, to the quote you know, of like nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care yeah i've never heard that before but my grandma always says that my, my say my, it again uh, nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those yeah, like yeah, yeah, reciprocal yeah, 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 quotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like but, how much you care sense. is way more important than like how you know how smart you are um, or how. That's the and thing there's too, value in like, both, but I, yeah, I agree. I you agree. don't want to be like, but the the internal power of the health mm -hmm. for me is like you know it used to be like a twenty five relationships, twenty five job, twenty five school, twenty five uh, whatever you know like breakdown of your life but for me i see it way different now it's really like 90 percent health and because if i don't have the health then everything else i can't really be like i can't be a good friend i can't like if i can't control my thoughts and breathe and laugh and cry and be happy and be in the moment and be able to listen then like i can't be a good friend i can't be a good you know boyfriend i can't be a good student i can't be a good teacher i can't be a good employee i can't be a good you know soccer player i can't be a good rapper i can't be a good performer i can't you know so it's like i gotta have the health first before before i do anything you know yeah i heard like, something recently it was maximize like, like it was oh, it was something along the lines like at some point in time your health is going to become your main concern i mean if you talk to us older yeah. like elderly people like yeah so sooner rather than the sooner, later the sooner you realize the sooner you realize that like all the other shit is like uh i don't even know how to describe it man like it's like, you know, if you're not if you're not in your optimized state, then all the other shit, you know, all the blessings too, man, all the good things become like a curse. You know, I might have to wrap this up in a short second because I'm I'm meeting up with that girl soon. You're good, bro. Do you wanna do you wanna uh, let's let's set the intention of wrapping this up now and then just like any last thoughts or anything like on your mind. Sorry, to, sorry to cut you uh, off in the middle of that. It's, no, you're good, man. She just texted me, "Are you almost ready?" And I was like, "Oh shit, I guess she's." Yeah, I should. I don't, you don't got to take me home either. If that's like, if oh no, I can, a, I can. I'm just saying if that gives you like 15 more minutes or whatever, uh -huh. just to like, we do you give a shower first though? Dude, I don't have nothing to do. You, yeah, we're, you can okay, do cool. Got to do, yeah. I don't oh, yeah. even really. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah, you never hit. You know, are, uh -huh. are, you hit me with that other topic earlier. We almost sort of got into it, dude. There's something I do want to talk about. I I want to talk about this. This this is interesting because we're talking about the topic of love. Yeah. So, this is a problem that I've faced in my life personally. I think I may have talked to you about this the other night, but I this has been like tearing me up internally, and it's 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 interesting because it's something I think a lot of guys face. It, I think it's I really do. I think it's something more guys face than people are willing to accept. But pretty much, I my experience of college and like just life is. I've kind of been like a player and like not not a player, but like I, I I don't know. I've never had like a lack of success with females, but I'm very, very picky on what I want. Long story short, I'm going through the motions, going through the motions, and it's not a sustainable way to live. And I'm kind of bored of living like that. To be honest. 
and I've I've been living with the the concept. I'm like, dude, I want a girlfriend. That'd be sick. And so with that being said, I'm like, I finally found a girl I like. Then I kind of obsessed with over her. Then I pushed her away, and I just uh, it's I I think what I did, the mistake I made was I was looking for validation externally and looking for and my desire for love was like is like really fucking me up. It's like it's and like just the fact that I was like unsuccessful with like getting that desire for love. And it's like weird. It's like I don't think love's something you should want. It's like uh I think it's something you should and, and you shouldn't look for your validation externally too much. And it, I've always been somebody who's like confident and comfortable with myself. Like I've I haven't had very much like self esteem issues fortunately. Right. Uh very grateful for that. But like I don't know. I was just looking for my validation externally, which I very rarely do, but it's uh I don't know. It's just been fucking me up internally, man. So I just thought I'd throw that thought, throw that thought out there. Yeah. What? Just, uh, yeah, man. I mean, I think when you're saying like, you know, it's tearing you up, like there's a, there's a component to like the, the, the world we live in today is not really like, you know, how we were designed to live, like in tribes and you meet people when you're born and you see them, you know, through your entire lifespan and they die. And, you know, it's like, you know, deep connections and companionship like uh -huh. with a female. Like for me at the end of the day, I, mean, I was talking to my other friend about this the other day. It was just like, I like kicking it with my friends, but there's a lot of times where I'm like chilling by myself or even when I'm chilling with my friends where I'm like, damn, I would 10 times rather just be like with my girl right now. Yeah, like yeah. I wish we were just at, in my bed watching a movie and, and talking to her and making her laugh and fucking with her a little bit. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think this is like a that kind of like thing for people our age, not just girls or guys. It's like both genders. Like it, they just yeah. the desire for love. It like and like like you said, companionship. Like for me, yeah. And it, like, I I've like really questioned myself. I'm like, yo, am I desperate? And I think I have exhibited some like desperate behavior, but I learned from that. And I'm, it's not even that I'm desperate for it. It's just like it's like, man, I really would enjoy that. to want or get or whatever that i'm like yo like i just want to like i want to just girl who's on the, who like who who i can like give that to like you know who i can play like you know she can be the the focus of like my my pranks and my games and my yeah. jokes and my philosophy where i go on these rants and it's like do you, do you think it's a little bit like it's this is like so paradoxical but that's not neediness man it's that's paradoxical it's weird like because it sounds like we have a very similar situation where like, dude, it's like, it's, this is how I see it. I'm like, I, I really do think, and this, this might sound like a very pompous conceited statement. I don't mean it that way, but I'm just, I'm very confident that I think I'm a very interesting person and I think I'm worth getting to know and I appreciate myself and I love myself and it's, it's fucking and, and just life. sad to say. Yeah, I love. I do. That's I do. A, like, I think you I love yourself and you love like life as it should be. It, or, and like you know? I, I appreciate my strengths and like I even kind of like my weaknesses. I think they're kind of cool too. It's and and I am like desiring of somebody that's going to appreciate those things about me as well on like an intimate level. Yeah. And like I, and, and maybe that's fucking sad to say. I don't know, but like. It's it's not an. I mean, but why 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 do you think it's what, what would be said about that? Like that's like how we were designed, bro. Like I think, the, it, yeah, true. I we, I, I think it was sad whenever I was more desperate for that, but it was I've learned that that in that desperation and that neediness, there was a lesson to be learned there, and I think I've learned the lesson now, and yeah, now it's just like. I don't know. I just, I just, I, I would like that. It's a crazy I would thing, like that, right? but I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. It's not fear based. It's not fear based. It's like, yeah. It's like, it's like I, my life's good right now, but like it's already good, but this thing would actually make it, you know, better. It's not that true. my life sucks and a girlfriend's going to make me happy. 
it's like, no, my life's happy and good, mm-hmm. and that would just make it better. And yeah. like, that's not like neediness or whatever. That's like I biology. Feel, or, I, and it, but you I know what's funny, man? So, I don't know a, if this is like a bad way to say it, but like I feel like, like you said, like I feel like there's almost a missing piece to like my life. And it, maybe I think meditation's one. I do. I think meditation's something. But like, I just. And maybe that's is that is that sad to say that I think there's something missing? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man, because it's like long term view, like ten years from now, like how would you have your life set up day to day? Like you know it's hard I feel to say. like the, the, you know I, I feel like I have a good idea of exactly what it would be. Mm-hmm. Like I feel that I don't have any like confusion about like what my future is what what it ideally would look like. Uh-huh. And ideally it would be like me and you know, my wife would spend a lot of time to what I was what I was gonna go back earlier, I, I wasn't trying to interrupt you. I wanna stay social at that age, by the way. Just, what? just throwing that out there right I like I wanna stay Oh yeah, no my for parents sure. aren't very social and that's something I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like independent. Like you have your shit that you like yeah. to do by yourself, shit that you like to do with your friends. And, uh, you know, just that you like to do with your wife or whatever. I'll tell you what, I want to keep podcasting. I want to keep doing this yeah. shit. Yeah, I, I like you can never shit. give up all your, like, things that make you who you are. Otherwise, you lose your identity. And once you lose your identity, then she's not going to fuck with you. And mm-hmm. and then it's like, you know. So, yeah, I mean, you got to always be like, you know, if she dies tomorrow, like, whatever. Like, I'm still, you know, my life goes on, period. Which is like a deep concept to be That's like. That's deep. To be like, you know, I came in this world alone and I will die alone. Whether I fall in love or have children, you know, like you know it's a fact that like you know but it's like an empowering thing too because it's like okay the the pressure's off in a way where it's like if i find one that i like a lot you know we can make it work you know because you know like let's 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 realize that our life together would be better than you know separate or whatever Uh that type of shit but what i was trying to get at earlier was when you said like you know how you go how you've gone about college and had girls and shit like that it's like the same thing, man, and it's not, you know, it's like the way of, of the world where it's like when I started college, it was like how much pussy can I get straight up, you know, like how much, like I want to fuck, di- like, you know, I don't know if I, I'm good to say this. No, yeah, yeah, yeah you like, can you say know, whatever you want. I want to yeah. fuck dimes and like, you know, how many, like, you know, how many, how many can I hit and how often and like, you know, that's like the best vision of like me at my like, you know, alpha best, mm-hmm. but it's like. I don't have the same view anymore, man. I feel different about it where it's just like, same, for same. one, that's like a dangerous game. Because and I feel you like realize- most guys go throughout that experience in college because it's not, it, you just get, I get bored of it. I get bored of the ch- of chasing girls and going after girls and I'm just, I'm, I'm over it. And I, I think, I think I'm like so bored of that, that it's like, I, I just want to like, I'm so bored of this way of living that it's like, I want more like security. And that's why I'm like also desiring it too. It's like, I, I I desire that intimate companionship, that intimate connection. Yeah, and there's a depth over time that like you experience with another person, like you know that that is different. It's than, fucking like, beautiful. It's yeah, really it's a cool thing. Mad. It's like the most mad. Like my brother's been with the same girl for like twelve years, and it's and, fucking uh, cool. It's kind of like they've been through some crazy shit together, some lows. Like, but mm-hmm. you know, I en- like envy him in a lot of ways. Where I'm like, damn, like. Most people don't experience that kind of like companionship. True. And to play the game the other way, it's like ego gratification. It's like, you know, sometimes you, you know, you get done with a girl or whatever and you're like, damn, like how much of that was me just wanting to like have done it or said that, you know, like I got it, you know, Mm -hmm. I wanted this thing and I got it. Dude, that's what I realized too. Now I got it. I can't remember. I don't even remember like I was too in my head and like focused on getting it to like even enjoy it, Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. Like, fuck, how much of this game is like me? Like, how much of this is my like uh, my uh, image in terms of like other dudes that like I can get pussy and like a lot uh-huh. of our like power in society socially is wrapped up on like especially men, our ability to like you know fuck dimes. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're at the bottom of the totem pole, you're not. We pride ourselves. You know, on that it shit, really man. is. Yeah, it's like you know, straight up. So, but you realize, like, for me, I realize I just, it's just different now. And it's kind of shitty in a way because I feel like there was a time where, like, I struggled with that. Like, I didn't have the same, like, internal belief. And now I'm like, damn, dude, I could just run train on, like, girls, right? Like, uh, you know, I'm not, I don't want to say, like, that, that, like, uh-huh. I'm not, you know, I'm not, like, I'm not saying I will or whatever. I'm just saying, like, I, I, like, I, I've seen feedback in my life, like, over the last year or two change to where, like, I don't have the same, like, I, I get, like, the, the response I want out of, like, people a lot more to where if I really, like, made that my focus was just, like, to be, like, to be, like, one of those dating, like, you know, coaches or whatever, pickup artists. Like, I'm not a pickup artist, but I feel like if I really wanted to, like, 
it's 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 like a numbers game for me. Like if I went out and asked ten girls for their numbers tomorrow, like one of them's gonna say yes, like hot girls. Uh huh. So I could play that game, but I realize now that it's just like not as rewarding as I thought it was before I could do that. That's how I feel too, yeah. And also it's like extremely dangerous because like the fact is like sex is a risky game. How so? Like I nut inside her and uh, oh, all yeah, of a sudden yeah. I got a kid for like 15 yeah. years. And like that's just the reality. I mean there's a mm -hmm. lot of other sh topics we could go into like birth control and condoms. It's like I don't know. Man, I don't want to say like too much about uh -huh. myself about yeah, that yeah. shit, but it's just like – that's a reality like every time that's you know? a, yeah that's and, not a uh, game you that's like play, a dangerous man. game because not like i'm not really, like it's not as crazy it's not like i've also accepted the fact too that like damn there's so many people that bitch about like having kids and like, it's the worst thing and oh my god you got her pregnant and all this shit i'm actually like dude i can't wait till i have like some kids like you're telling well, me they're many, gonna have half of my years, genetics and half of mini cory's running around yeah or like the girl like if i had a daughter like i can't even imagine like how crazy it would be and how fun it would be and how like entertaining like uh -huh. i'm like, so excited to be a dad dude i love but this people bitch about it like it's the worst thing that could ever happen uh -huh. so it's like you see two sides where it's like okay if i like this girl then i'm gonna see like we're gonna do whatever happens and if she gets pregnant and like i have to marry her or whatever or, like we got to raise a kid then like if if she really gets pregnant then like in my mind it was meant to be because i believe whatever happens is meant to be so. interesting perspective. and i'm not gonna okay. like dread that that's like a beautiful thing mm -hmm. But, you know, it's like if you got to like when, when I was 18, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking like I just want to smash as much like dimes as possible uh -huh. way before 18. But it's just like, yeah, you yeah, get to college totally. and it's like, and here that, we go. Here we go. Game can like fuck you up, too, in a lot of different ways, because like you mm -hmm. might not be getting it like that. And then then you feel like you're worthless or you're you're not alpha. That's or you're where not, your validation. Like, comes yeah, from, you're like man. you're not powerful or like something's wrong, you know, like and then 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 you get to do it and you're like. This isn't like this is no big deal. Like this is not like this is as much stress. Like you know, I don't know how how graphic so I can get, but it's like this girl wanted me to like it hit, sucks and I didn't do it. Yeah, and now she's crying at like she's crying because I like didn't you know? Yeah, and it's like wait, all this game, and that doesn't even include like the chase of like all the stress the, of that the dates and all the like in the beginning, which is to me is like a b bunch of bullshit that I really like don't even like. I don't want to text. I don't really Which like texting. We, we probably should wrap this up in a second, by the way. Sweet. That's probably. But... Yeah, man. Do you have, any, do you have anything else last thing you want? Uh, get my sorry, music. Sorry to cut you off. <laughs> no, you're good, man. Which, wait, I'm going to throw one last thing out here. Um, yeah. I, I think this is fucking really cool. This is a cool podcast because I feel like we'll be able to listen to this like years to come. Cause it's cool to like, like uh, let's just we're make like sure. talking about like, we're talking about this hypotheticals yeah, I mean, of our future. And it's like, these oh. are everyone's hypotheticals though. In uh -huh. a way, like the game of life comes down to your relationships and your intimate relationships and your choices on sex have a huge impact with like, you know, when you're going to be a parent, that means you're giving up your own like dreams in your own life, you know? True. So, True. you know, and, uh, but I don't know, man. What, what should we should end it on is make sure that we like, you know, we didn't offend anybody, or you know, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm, you know, I think I think you kept it real, and I I enjoyed this a lot. I'm saying actually, I believe in in you know, love yourself, be happy, healthy, you know, learn how to breathe, do the Wim Hof method, uh, pranayama, any kind of breathing meditation practice, so you can figure out what's going on in your mind, and. uh and the good ideas, the true ideas about life will kind of come to you once you're receptive to them. And and uh, they're not like what society necessarily, you know, has out for you. And and you'll feel, you know, intuitively that it's right for you. And, you know, the the core thing for him was like him, him doing all this shit to be able to, uh, I'm saying him, but like you, you know, mm -hmm. all this like career advancement and all this like, you know, shit that you feel like you got to do to be worthy of uh, somebody else's love. You don't have to do any of that shit, and you might be fucking yourself in the long term because once you get all that other shit and you're powerful, quote unquote, because you have money or a social status or a mm -hmm. job or a bigger house, whatever, you might just be isolating yourself from uh, from like your chance at like real love. So just you know, be healthy. That's a great starting point because if you're healthy and you're focused and clear, then you know you might just stumble upon the one for you and. Uh, you know, it's true for, for them and for you. And it's, you know, that's a beautiful thing is that, is that kind of love. So, you know, 
matters. Believe in yourself enough as you are, like without anything, if everything got taken away from you and it was just you and, you know, you and your brain and your hands and, and your feet and that's it to be able to like still, you know, believe in God, believe in the universe enough that like what, what is there for you, you'll still get it without all that other shit. And, uh, it is, it's true. So 54 minutes. Perfect, bro. Hell yeah. That, dude, yeah. Get my music on actually. iTunes and, uh, you know, that would help me out a lot. I'm a bum. <laughs> but, uh, Rod son, Corey, Robert can on iTunes, Spotify, all that shit. And, uh, I'm I'm gonna play it in the shower. Is that cool? Yeah, bro. I don't care. Hell yeah, cool. All right, cool. This is uh yeah, man. Thank you for is, for doing this. Hell man. yeah, man. This is the first yeah. podcast for me ever, and uh, it was dope. And uh, it's cool that you got on like with the with the mics. That's sick. Oh yeah, yeah. That's oh yeah. Sick. Yeah, man. It sounds cool. like it's legit. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Thank you, man. You're you're a dope motherfucker too, man. I run into you all the time. So thank you, thank you. Yeah, we run into each other all the time on campus. It's, about it's time, hilarious, yeah. honestly. All right, cool. Deuces. Peace.